Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Ender Anglers TV. I'm trying to stay quiet right now because it is currently, I don't know if you guys can see that, the glare is probably, glare life is real, 1228, it's kind of backwards on there, but it's really late, but I saw some of the comments from my last video and decided to do the Savage Gear Baby Duck Lure Review. So first of all, things that I like about it. it has these nice little twirly feet on it I have not tried this thing out yet but I'm just gonna do looks and features about it today so I like that it has the hook on the bottom and it's removable so if you're fishing heavy cover or weeds you can take this hook right off and it'll be more weedless there are two treble hooks with yellow feathers on the top and the bottom as you guys can see one treble hook on top, one on bottom for those those strikes on bottom. Um, so I like this thing a lot. It has really really nice details. If you guys can see, also has like these little rattles on the back too. That might entice a fish to strike even more. I also like the fact that it has these very thick thick O rings. Hopefully you guys can see that it's not really focusing in, but it has a really thick O-ring, so they're really, really strong. And also the hooks. The hooks look pretty strong. They're pretty sharp. Might end up sharpening, sharpening them, but I'm not sure about that yet. I picked out this color because it's going to be very noticeable in clear water on blue sky days. Um, I'll probably end up getting uh, dark darker color one either a brown bellied or black full black colored duck I'm not too sure about it though I'm gonna try out this one see if it even works for me where I live out in the river for pike but that's pretty much what I like about the lure what I don't really like is that these these little o-rings that are actually really really hard to get on since they're so strong or I guess I guess if you take the time to put them on there, the fish aren't going to be able to rip those or anything. It's also a half an ounce, so you can bomb this thing really, really far out. With those longer casts to cover a lot more water. Um, I've seen Bama Bass do a few vids where he actually casts it into weeds and drags it out. And that could entice a bass to strike because it actually would look like a real duckling fleeing out of the grass. But anyways... Um, I'm here at my friend Ricky's house, and he's going to tell you what he likes and doesn't like about this lure. So, I'm going to pass the camera on to him, and we're going to see what he likes about it. Alright, what is up guys? This is, you know, RNA Outdoors here. And this is actually the first time I've got to actually feel this in my hand. I mean, it seems pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. But for the price point, I would have expected maybe a few more options, like a bill or um, maybe like you could put different color feathering on. Like if it was me, personally, I would swap out the feathering with some red feathering, only because if you're fishing a duck lure, to me, I want red so it looks like blood. And you can actually bomb it out there and then make it look like it's hurt and then when they see the red they'll think it's hurt and be able to attack it but I like the fact that the hooks clip down inside there so they're not moving around like so they don't catch on your line and stuff same with that one but that's like the only thing I dislike I wish that maybe there was a little bit more on the back here besides just these tails um, but really I can't complain I'll definitely have to pick one up and you guys that are on the Andrew anglers channel should go subscribe so then I can do my own uh, challenge video with this but I'm not gonna lie this is decent it definitely blows my expectations out of the water with the price point the quality of the build and the fact that it is customizable to you that um, at any point if you don't like it you could switch it out 
So, that's, yeah, seems decent. So, I'm going to give it back to Mr. A.A. A. Angler himself. So, uh, yeah. So, his video will be linked, or his uh, YouTube channel will be linked in the description. He does outdoor stuff, snowmobiles, fixing up his snowmobiles, uh, hunting, and fishing. We're going to be doing collab videos in the summer at the Androscoggin River, catching, hopefully, monster 40 plus inch pike so thanks for watching this video i know you guys requested it a few of you guys actually requested it so thanks for commenting on my last video giving me insight on what i'm going to do for this video and i'll catch you guys next time